So is using a long lens for landscape photography the right lens or the wrong lens? Let's find out. You know, in all the years I've been a landscape photographer, I can't tell you the number of times I've heard someone say, using a long lens for landscape photography is indeed the wrong lens. And I can't, I can't begin to tell you how much I disagree with that. The truth is, is that landscape photography can, can encompass a wide range of focal lengths. In fact, it, it could be 600 millimeters. So zoom lens, prime lens, it really doesn't matter. What matters is the composition. And truly, the composition chooses the lens not us, or at least that's what it should be. You know, talking about a long lens, I would say that one of the biggest advantages of a long lens is being able to use it to compress the background and the foreground. And what that can do is it can bring elements more into your subject, or more into your composition, I should, should say, to, to be able to, to really enhance the subject. So for example, I've got a small tree in the background and the larger tree, which is the main subject, in the foreground, which is my main focus, and but they're just kind of too far apart. And getting it the, in the right position with the right focal length, and it's about 82, 85 millimeters, I can compress the scene to bring the rear tree closer to the foreground and balance out the image at the same time because balance of the composition is super important as well. So you want elements in the composition to be in the right spot for the best look. Also with a with larger focal length, a longer focal length I should say, it increases your, or I should say it decreases your depth of field, but it allows you to get more of, of a separation of the subject. So if I wanted and I'm shooting this at about f13. I want everything sharp. I shot one at about 5.6, but and it provided more separation of the foreground. But I just didn't like the blurred look of the background, so I really wanted everything in sharp focus. So, but anyway, with a long lens, that's a choice. And when you're in closer with a wider lens, you just don't get that choice. You just don't get that depth of field. It's not the same. By the way, I did, uh, I, I made a video last week on, you know, if you really need an ultra wide angle lens and I'll leave a link to that in the end of the video. Something else to think about with a long lens too is being able to use it as a scalpel. And I really mean scalpel because with a long lens, especially in a chaotic scene, you can really kind of zoom in, literally zoom in on your subject and cut away distracting elements. For example, there's some branches that are kind of coming into the scene at the top of the composition. And although it might, might seem nice to have a kind of a wider shot with more, more of the background into the subject, but indeed I'm focusing on the tree and what the long lens allows me to do is zoom past the, the distractions that are coming into the frame and just makes a cleaner image so you get a cleaner shot so i think a long lens is indeed a scalpel oh yeah something else to keep in mind when you're doing this kind of photography your shadow can be cast onto your foreground and you don't even know it so uh but you know that's usually more pronounced with a wide angle all the more reason to use a longer lens for landscape photography because it's less chance of getting a shadow in the scene too you know, I've captured several images of this tree over the years, and I can tell you the best composition, the best angle that I've managed to pull off on this tree has been with my long lens. And I think it's just a matter of getting at the right angle at the right time. I mean, I'm battling some gusting winds, the light's not playing. I mean, I'm getting some nice light on the rocks, but I'm also battling time. The longer time goes on, the harsher the light gets, and it's kind of blowing out the top half of my image. So I might not get it this time. But that's the thing about landscape photography. Lenses, camera bodies, all of these things. You know, we, get the, we put the tools in our bag, and then we put our, ourselves in the right place at the right time, and the right moment, and occasionally, we managed to pull off something really special, but just occasionally. 
Many people think a long lens only has one purpose, and that's to zoom in on distant scenery in the background, mountain photography. It couldn't be, it just couldn't be further from the truth. Remember, a long lens can be used as a scalpel in a chaotic scene to isolate your subject. And also, its depth of field can be used to separate the subject from the background. And don't forget about compression. Compressing the scene, you might be able to bring a distant element, for example, mountains in the background, closer in by compressing the scene and really accentuate your subject. So there is a number of reasons to use a long lens for landscape photography. And the point is, is it comes back to your lens choices. And remember, the composition chooses the lens, not the photographer. If you enjoyed this video, there's a couple of other videos that I think you might be interested in, and I'll leave links to those in the video description. One is on choosing the right camera, choosing lenses for landscape photography. There's several of them, and I'll leave links for you. Well, I don't know if I got the shot, but I got to get out of here. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail somewhere. After reviewing everything in post-processing, this morning's image didn't pan out. However, I selected the image I'd captured the night before. Well, it's not quite my vision, but it's close. I'm pleased with the composition and I think the image is well balanced, but I feel the light could have been better. It's often a challenge to align all the elements of a great composition. Timing is not always in our favor. Our dreams and visions sometimes conflict with the reality of nature, and it can be rather challenging to create the image that we have in the mind's eye. Photography is a lifelong endeavor. Indeed, that's why I prefer to say we practice photography. However, armed with the right attitude, the proper tools in our bag, and a little persistence, who knows, perhaps we can achieve the impossible dream.